Hi folks, Sonia Ash here from Ash Design. Today I want to show you how to work with our two-tone cloud brushes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load our brushes. Um, so with your brush selected over here in your toolbar, in the toolbar, uh, you can click there or you can click B on your keyboard to select it. And then you'll see your brush presets up top here. So there's a couple of ways we can go about doing it. Let's click down on this. Um, here are your brush presets. And then you can click on this little gear icon, drop it down, and you can import your brushes that way. So there's one way to do it. Or we can go to our window palette. I'm sorry, window drop down. And we will bring up our brush preset window that way. And um, this is called a Hamburg menu up here, up in the upper right. Let's go ahead and click on that. And from here, you can import your brushes. So either way, you're going to get, uh, you're going to navigate to where your brushes are. Um, they are ABR files. So let's go ahead and double click on it, and that will install our brushes. And if we scroll down over here, we will, we will see it, it will be the last brush set on the bottom. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. Um, I do actually prefer to work with this top one here. So let's go ahead and grab a cloud brush to begin with. So I'm going to scroll to the end open up the folder that contains them and let's just pick a brush to get started so maybe we'll go ahead with brush number four here okay so um let's go ahead and create um sort of one of those uh baby announcement um cloud burst funnel type things so um i'm gonna add a layer in here let's go ahead and add it behind her so added it on my layer palette and I've got my brush selected. Um, this is going to be a girl so let's do dark pink to light pink. So I'm going to, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that I can uh, see better the colors I'm choosing. Um, click alt or option on your keyboard and that will change your cursor into a color picker. And I'm just going to grab uh, a dark pink here. And you can see the pick, the color it chose over here. That's your foreground color. Now we want to going to want to change your background color to a light pink. So you can choose this little toggle icon, toggle icon right here, or you can hit X on your keyboard. That will also toggle back and forth between your foreground and background color. So let's go ahead again and hold down our Alt or Option key, and let's pick a light pink in here. And you just want to have a good um, variation between the two. So I might go maybe just a little bit lighter, just until I see it over here. Maybe that's a little bit better. So there's my foreground and background. And the cloud brushes will use these two colors, your foreground and your background, to create, um, to create the clouds. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. And our brush is pretty big. So let's make it smaller. Because this funnel is going to start small and it's going to sort of billow up. Okay, that's the idea, anyways. So let's go ahead and just start um, painting in here. And you'll sort of see it starting cre to create your cloud for you. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger. Not too much bigger, just a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to continue up. And you can see that the brush actually made some some bigger clouds um, and then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger as we get closer to the top just to sort of finish that off and we'll leave it at that that's pretty much the shape that I'm going for sort of this funnel okay um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to add some dimension to this so let's go ahead and add another layer here what we're going to want to do is not add to the shape of this, but actually paint within it. So we're going to clip this to that funnel layer that we just did. So right click and create a clipping mask. Now anything we paint in this layer will be confined just to the funnel, which is the layer below that it's clipped to. So let's go ahead and um, let's paint on this with some light pink and white just to vary it up a little bit. So I'm going to keep the light pink. I'm going to hit X on my keyboard or just this little toggle. 
switch and then we're going to click on the dark pink and let's change that to white. So now our cloud brush is going to paint with these two colors that we've selected. Um, so let's go ahead and just paint in here somewhat. And this is rather subtle. We don't want to paint over the whole thing because we want to have some variation in here. Um, what I like to do is have paint on separate layers because then we have more control over the clouds we're creating. So I'm going to actually try changing this, trying changing my uh, layer mode to let's try let's try color burn. That'll give it a little bit more depth, a little bit more darkness to it. Now I painted with white as the foreground color. And while it does sort of toggle between um, the foreground and background, white was the predominant color when I just painted. So I'm going to make the light pink my foreground color. So X on your keyboard or just hit your little toggle key over here. And now I'm going to paint over here just a little. I just want to just sort of give it a little bit of depth, and I, I like how that's shaping up. I'm going to make my brush a little smaller, maybe get some darker areas down below. Just trying not to overdo it too much. We just, we just want to give it a hint of some of those shadows so that we can create some dimension. And I think, um, I think I like how that's looking so far. Let's add one more layer here. And again, we're going to clip that so that we're still only painting on this funnel area. And let's try grabbing a different cloud brush now. Let's try, let's try cloud brush number two. And let's make white our foreground color again. And making sure that our layer three is selected. I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller. And let's just go ahead and just, just make some short little um, strokes of your brush in there just to add. Um, I'm going to hit Control Z on that last one because I'm really not wild about it. That'll just undo the last thing I did. And maybe make my brush a little bigger. Maybe hit this area over here somewhat. I think I'm going to change the layer mode on this. Yeah, I think overlay looks pretty good because it, it brings some of the uh, layers below through, which, which I'm liking. So um, I'm going to make my brush just a little bit smaller and maybe just touch it in here just one more time. Again, trying not to overdo it because, boy, that's easy to do. And I think that maybe that's a little bit too much there. I'm going to undo that and just maybe just slightly touch it in there. But I like how this is shaping up. Um, this is all to taste. You are free to work with, you know, whatever brushes you like. There are different brush shapes in here that you can choose from, different densities, as you can see, and you can really make um, some really nice things. Now, I want to show you another option, um, and that is we can also create some dirt. And I thought it, this would be a great template to try that on. So let's go ahead and create um, another layer, again, below my subject. And we're going to do the same type of thing. Um, this will also kind of sort of be a funnel, but we want to sort of make it the dust trail from his bike. So let's go and pick up some, some of the dark brown from this. Uh, maybe right there, and then let's toggle X on your keyboard, and then let's grab um, a lighter brown. Now maybe those two. So I think those might be a great um, start for our funnel. So let's go ahead and create a funnel, and that's going to kind of start behind this bike. So let's start down here where you don't see it, and let's just start bringing it up. Okay, let's stop, make it a little bit bigger. And then let's just continue with that. And I want this to sort of curl up somewhat. Then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger just to sort of finish off the top of our funnel. 
So this is going to be the base of our funnel, and I, I like the shape of that. So let's go ahead and add another layer. Uh, we're going to right click and create a clipping mask. So then we know that we'll only be painting on this shape. And let's try um, changing this dark brown to white. So I'm going to hit X on my keyboard, click on the dark brown, choose a white. So those will be the two colors for our cloud. Um, let's see. Let's use brush number three for this one. And I think I will also set this layer to linear burn. And let's just see what that looks like when we start painting. Uh, we're going to bring our brush way down. These are um, uh, very large brushes, so that uh, they're high quality. So you'll you'll most often need to bring them down to get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and just sort of hit some areas in here. And again, this layer is just to add a little um, depth and dimension. So we're just going to hit it somewhat, um, and that is with white in the foreground. I'm going to toggle so that I have the brown in the foreground, and then let's sort of hit this area on this side. And then you can see that gave us some nice depth in there. I think that is a little bit too dark, so let's just try bringing the fill of that layer down somewhat. Um, 75, maybe even 50. Again, all up to taste. You know, it's entirely up to you. Um, okay, so I like that. And I'm, again, going to add one more layer to this. Uh, right click, create a clipping mask. Let's keep the white to light brown. Um, I think I want white as my foreground color on this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I'm going to set this layer mode to hard light. And once again, we're just going to go in and we're just going to just dab it, just sort of touch in here somewhat. And you can see you're getting some nice dimension in here, which which I really like. And and the, the dust trails are really sort of shaping up there. I might even hit it just a little more on that side. Now, again, you can now that we've painted on layers with these, you know, you have the option to even switch these around. So maybe you want um, this third layer. You can swap it with the second layer just to see, you know, how how that changes it. Maybe you want to bring your fill up somewhat. Um, you can even play with changing these modes just to see what, you know, what the colors look like. I think that looks pretty cool like that too, um, set to darker color. But so you get the idea. This is how we um, can work with our two-tone cloud brushes. Enjoy.